Hi guys and what is up, that Geeky Minecrafter here. Welcome to a new tutorial of how to make a cinema 4D render of your Minecraft skin. <laughs> transparent there won't be a minecraft world background on it so you yourself have to add in the background using i'm not sure uh, what you use but i use paint.net myself i might um might i may or may not do a tutorial on how to add a background to your render soon but for now this will just be a minecraft skin render and it will be a transparent one so obviously first of all you need to open up your cinema 4d Yes, this does cost money, but people have ways to get it for free. For example, um, getting it crack, uh, getting a cracked version. Version, sorry. Um, but if you do that, be very careful because some of them can be quite dodgy and they might give you a virus. Blah blah blah. blah. So when you've done this and opened up your Cinema 4D, you have to open up the rig for your skin. So. I have the um, download link in this. Uh, I really can't talk today. I'm so sorry. Um, I have the download link in the description for the skin rig, and I've named it this. It should be called this for your um, on your file as well. But don't worry, it's, it's quite a nice name. <laughs> so open my skin rig thingy by dragging it into Cinema 4D, and just press yes. So it should look like this when you first opened it up. And what you want to do to add in your skin is um, press ADV Skin Rig version 5.1. That's up here. So when you've clicked it, right here should be custom skin. You click the three dots at the side and find your skin there. So mine's on my desktop, I think. Yep, there it is. And one thing before you add it in, you've got to um, make sure it has no eyes. So you have to go and edit your skin um, and go over your eyes with your skin colour, if that makes any sense. So you have no eyes because the rig um, already puts in the eyes for you, so there will basically be double eyes and it looks terrible. So when you've done that, just click open, press yes, and there's your skin. Well, this is my skin, but you know, you'll be using yours. So when you've got this open, um, obviously the eyes will be blue, but you might have different coloured eyes. So what you want to do is make sure you're still on ADV skin rig version 5.1. Scroll down a bit and you should get to the colours of the pupils so I'm gonna keep these the same but when you click on them you can adjust the colour yourself so if you have brown eyes green eyes whatever you can change the colour but I'm gonna keep that the same obviously because that is my skin colour and um, my skin colour my skins eye colour so now you've got your skin on the rig you obviously want to move it around into a cool position so say I'm doing a horror map, I might want to make it look scared. So let's move it into a kind of tense position. It's smiling right now, don't worry, I'll tell you how to fix the um, mouth. So you just want to make it look in a kind of tense position. You don't have to do this, you can make it look however you like. But basically you just click on the purple square rectangular thingies on each of the joints and then use the arrows to go up and down. So I'm just going to make it be quite simple. I'm not going to take that long enough, don't worry. There we go, and then I'm going to move the head. So to move the head, you've just got to click on this purple plate underneath and press the rotate button up here. When you press that, just use these lines to rotate. So I want to make it look like that. Let me make it look down a bit. There we go. And then you go back onto the move one because you still want to move all the um, components and stuff. So when you've done this, you want to change the facial expression of your character. So let's go up here. And let's go on to ADV skin, uh, I keep saying that, ADV Steve Rig version 5.1. Scroll down until you get to mouth settings. So go on to mouth expression and um, when you bring it up it smiles, when you bring it down it frowns. So I'm going to kind of do it kind of like a neutral scared look, like that. And you press this to make your mouth open or close. So I might have it like that. There we go. And that's your mouth position, but I just keep it the same because the mouth should be there. So, when you've done that, you can zoom back out of your character. By the way, if you'd like to move it into a certain position, there are these three components up here. So this moves your camera around, so you hold it and kind of move your mouse up and down and stuff. So, like, move. You use this and hold it and to zoom in and out. 
and you use this to rotate this is for like adding in things or you might just want like a nice camera angle from down there or up I don't know depends what you would like anyway so when you've positioned your character and you're happy with its facial expression now you might want to add in a an object like a sword maybe some armor so what you need is another rig and I use Minecraft item pack version 1.2 by Weedline. I will also put this download in the description so you guys can have it for yourselves. So what you gotta do is open up the file um, from WinRAR or 7-zip, whoopsie daisy, and then drag in this little file inside of it into Cinema 4D. And then you can close out of this. So when you've done that, there should be all these options over here. So uh, armor, discs, food, material, other, and tools. So I'm going to click on tools and add in, a, add in a diamond sword. When you double click this, it should be on the floor underneath your character. So move the camera around to find where it is, so I'm just going to go down here. And if it's a sword, you can use these tools to um, make it bigger, uh, move it, that's to like adjust the size of it, that's to move it around and that's to rotate it. So I'm going to use the rotate tool first of all to move it into a position where I can put it into my hand so there we go and then I'm going to use the move tool to actually move it to my hand there we go and I'm going to turn around so I can see what I'm doing up a bit and I'm going to use the size tool or the scale tool to make it big I mean smaller what am I talking about don't need that any bigger jeez so there you have it you have your Minecraft skin render ready to start rendering. Whoops, keep pressing the wrong tool, great shine. Actually, it doesn't look right right now. Oops. And press that. See, you might have to keep fiddling around with it to get it in a good position, because um, it does take a while. It'll look a bit dodgy if you don't spend enough time fixing it. There we go. So when you finish, um, moving your character and objects around you need to have it in a position like in the way you'd like to render it if that makes any sense so if you want to do a full body render you kind of have it showing your full body obviously um, but if you want it to like the top half of your body you just zoom in kind of move up but i want it to be full body so let's go down here da -da -da. zoom in a teensy bit there we go so when you've done this you have it all set up, everything's ready, you press this middle button here. Renders the active project in the picture viewer. Shortcut is shift plus R, but you know it's easier clicking it. So, I've done it before. This is what it looked like before. So I'm just going to wait for this to render and when it does I'll be right back. Okay guys, so when that's done, your render should be ready to save. So all you do is press file, save as, make sure it's on PNG, press OK, and press press well press wherever you'd like to save it so I'd save it onto my desktop and then you just rename it so my render oops sorry my render then you press save but I'm not gonna because I've made quite a load of these so I have a lot um so yeah then you have your transparent skin render ready to add your background or whatever you want to do with it as I said at the beginning of this video I might make a paint.net tutorial um on how to like add your background in, how to make like cool effects to make it look prettier. So that is the end of this um, Cinema 4D render tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. If this helped you out, please leave a like, and if you're new, please subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. See you later, and goodbye. Before this video ends, guys, I would just like to thank Fern or Totally Turtles 22 for teaching me in the first place how to Cinema 4D render with my skin. So all credit of me learning goes to Fern. Thank you, Fern.